Hi, my name is Liliana Martins and welcome to In Your Element TV. Today we will be working on your mental body, which is represented by the air element. To forgive another is to learn to forgive the self. To forgive the self first requires courage, faith and trust. Trust in your inner self, the person that is within you, the energy, the core energy of who you are, the essence. Remember to like, subscribe and notify so we can all go through this time together. Self-forgiveness does take its time. There is no need to rush. It all happens in divine timing. The funny thing is, if you keep hearing the saying that time does not exist, what kind of time does it really take to forgive the self so we can forgive another? Or to forgive another so we can forgive the self? Which one occurs first? The egg or the chicken? Oh, I don't know. Maybe both happened at the same time in different dimensions, parallel realities, who knows? And the thing is, you spend a lifetime engaging your mental body, your mind, trying to understand something that is not understandable. And at the end of the day, the most important thing is love. Love for the self and love for another, because you cannot love another without loving yourself. And if things are not going well, are not going your way, maybe you're not loving yourself enough. It then reflects in pain, suffering and resentment. Of course, there is also programming which now you realize is a very important factor. The patterns, the belief systems that you are connected with, that keep repeating themselves and keep you engaged in the same situation same feeling, the same repetitive pattern. That means that your frequency, your vibration is still the same. Hence, you keep repeating the same situations in your life. It's only when you change perception that your reality changes. Why? Because you let go of certain values that seem to be important to you. You let go of the programs repetitive behavior. You also let go of mindsets and belief systems by becoming aware of them. By becoming aware of how much, how tight you sometimes hold on to. You don't realize that actually life is fluid. When you flow with the rhythm of life and you look inwards and you understand yourself, you look into your heart and learn to heal your own wounds by giving yourself a break, by looking after yourself and releasing any external expectations. You stop hoping that there is a savior out there for you. You stop to trust that only others can be better than you. You stop having that kind of faith and trust that the only solution comes from the divine forces within you which actually it does. Those are the things that need to change for you to be able to move forward with ease and grace. Pain and suffering are a choice. Or maybe pain is inevitable, but suffering is a choice. Choose to go with it and forgive yourself. To forgive that part of you that keeps holding on to those old belief systems, repetitive patterns, ways of thinking, ways of behaving that no longer resonate with you. Write a list of what you want, what you appreciate in life. What is it that you appreciate in others, in yourself? Find appreciation within yourself first, then write the people who reflect these qualities in your life. And you know what? Hang around them more often. Connect with them more often. Even if it is energetic, they might not be there in the physical presence, but they might be there energetically. Connect more to that frequency of life. Appreciate it more and you'll see it amplified. So to forgive the self or to forgive another 
That is the question. Never miss those opportunities in your life where you can go within and actually forgive yourself because those are the moments and those are the pieces to your puzzle. A way to freedom. Every piece counts because you can't have a full puzzle without all the pieces. So every time you have an opportunity, a possibility, to drop that piece into the right place in your puzzle, do so by going within and forgiving yourself. When you are free, because your puzzle gets completed, the picture that comes out of it is beautiful. It's whole in its pure artistic form. So learn to forgive yourself at all times, because pain is inevitable, but chronic suffering is a choice. If you find that this content resonates with you, and we are the right community for you, visit our website and follow us at any social media platform. If you have any conscious ideas, requests, suggestions, we would love to hear from you. So remember to give us your feedback by leaving a note in the comments box. See you in the vortex. Goodbye.